Hello there folks, today we're going to take a look at the game called Expand City. It's published by Breaking Games and the designer is Alex Cutler. And in this game you are building a city with those skyscrapers or different buildings, commercial and residential buildings and trying to get the most points. So let's take a look at how the game works. So Expand City is played over the course of several turns until all the tiles are gone. Now what are you doing here? You're building different buildings, residential and commercial. And you will have some tiles in your hand already. The tiles with the modifiers are just different buildings. They modify the scoring of the buildings that you built around them. And also you have some blocks at the start. You have six blocks. The other ones are in reserve. You can get more by spending action points. And now how the game works. So basically, first of all, you will choose one of the tiles from your hand and place it next to existing tiles. And now you can um, get more blocks from reserve and build. You have three action points to spend and you can mix and match it however you want. I can take two blocks and build once and so on. You can never build um, more than one block in the same turn uh, with the same building. But you can have various buildings in progress. A certain amount of them, there's limits. And then you can build on them over there. So. The thing about uh, building is that there is the commercial and there's the residential tile. So these are the empty tiles. You can build on them. When you build on the commercial tile, you have to go level by level. So whenever you do all your three actions, after that you will have possibility to, to score your buildings. And that means completing your buildings by placing roof on them. So. With the commercial building, I have to complete level 1 in order to advance to level 2, in order to start building level 2 somewhere else. Uh, then I can do level 3 and level 4, so you get the points. Now with the <clears throat> commercial buildings, the minimum level required to complete the building, so I can put the roof on it, is 4. So I have to build 4 blocks, so it will basically take me 4 turns. And then I can complete... Uh, four, uh, the building with the four floors, the, the uh, sorry, the commercial building. Put a roof on top of it. There's some kind of pointy roof over here. And now I can build a uh, fifth story on the next uh, commercial building I built. So basically, now I completed level four. Now I'm trusted to to do the level five building and level six. And there's no limit. <clears throat> but there, there are limits to these buildings over here. They go maximum up to three uh, building blocks. So that's where you can basically expand each, each uh, turn by building higher and higher. Now when you build and you put your rooftop, you will score. You will score uh, for each block you have. Plus you will score for every modifier. So example, if that tile would be here, it would modify both of these tiles around it. This one says plus two, which means, for example, if I build this one, for each block I get one point, but now for each block I built, I, I get plus two, which, which means three points. So for each block I get three points, I'll mark it down, I got three points. And you will go in turn order, uh, grabbing, uh, sorry, putting dials down, getting uh, your buildings done, and then you will also, like in Carcassonne, and you will choose new tiles to get in your hand. And also, whenever you complete the building, you will get contract cards. So what are these? So these are basically the objectives. So whenever you complete a building, you will get to choose one of the two cards. And for example, this one says complete the two-story residential building next to a police station. So when you complete that, you can say I've completed that objective, I get extra points. Or control a single building uh, that is next to both a church and a bar. And there are a ton of them, like control the buildings on all four sides of a modifying tile. So these are the old tiles that have those different numbers on them. And so on, the complete a building worth zero or fewer points. You can also get minus points because the modifier basically make it into negative points and so on or complete at least two commercial buildings uh, of six or more stories. So commercial buildings can go as high as you want them to go, but you have to, first of all, complete the level four, then you can complete the level five, then you can complete the level six and so on. So 
you will go higher as you advance. And there are a ton of those different contract cards over here. You grab them too and you can score them eventually. And when all the tiles end, you will see whoever has the most points and that will be the winner of the game. And also there are objective tiles over here that um, will give you extra points. So for example, most properties next to parks, most contracts completed, uh, tallest tower, most total properties controlled, most residential completed and most commercial completed. So you will get some extra points for these tiles over here. Now, that's how you play Expand City. So as for components and artwork, I do really like those blocks and building them up and having those different roofs. Um, but uh, it's, I mean, like the art on those tiles and eventually the look of, of the rest of the game, it's not as inspiring. It's really cool this, to see those things and the art itself is a little, little bit meh over there. Also, there is that bag for tiles, which is just too small. And I'm just like, oh, why? And because you have a ton of tiles and you need to draw them randomly and so on. It just doesn't work. Uh, the, the insert is nice though. And the overall feel, some of the objective, the, the overall objective tiles, whatever they are, they're a little bit too thin. And the cards a little bit too thin, but they have linen finish. It's nice. So, and also you use... I don't like that you use one of the blocks that you have, you use them as the, as, the, as the tracker for the scoring. I would have loved to have kind of a different, I don't know, token or something like that to track my score. Just some minor things, but they add together. So I give components and artwork three out of five. Now we go to the theme. Um, yeah, you, you feel like you're building those buildings, but I don't feel like I'm building a city. And that's the thing. I, because we're building it all together and we're trying to get the things higher and there are certain restrictions. And it just feels that I'm trying to build something up with some restrictions going on. And the building theme is there. The building the city isn't there really for me so i cannot really describe it just i doesn't feel like that because you're putting out those different uh, things on there and the different tiles that are different different kind of um, stations in the city but who cares about them because they have some modifiers and just doesn't add up to the theme so the theme gets three out of five now the mechanics uh this game now First of all, I like uh, building things, but I always forget about what is commercial building, what is residential building, the blue versus the green. It just where it becomes a little bit convoluted for the for the ease of play it is in this game. And this is a family weight game, in my opinion. And But there's that commercial, residential, and you have to remember that commercials go that way with these restrictions and the residential go with these restrictions. And I don't really like too much restriction in the beginning because basically everyone will do the same. So basically you build, you, because the, the, the beginning of the board is basically, there's almost nothing. There's that central tile and then you put more tiles into it and it expands, expands city. Cool, nice. But starting from the beginning and already having restriction doesn't feel good because basically I need to put a roof on the first block already in order to do something and the beginning you feel like you're not doing much and there are those engine building games where you feel kind of the same but eventually you get to something very big here you don't really get to your engine because you have you can only like you can put certain amount of blocks and uh, you have to gain those blocks and then you can put a certain amount of like some of your turns are just getting blocks uh, which is I, I do understand it's like pulling out the workers in a worker placement game or or just you know trying to build up for the future better turn but feels uninspiring you want to build 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 that's something that i want to see in these kinds of games 
I always want to build something. And if I don't do something, I prepare for something really cool. But what I prepare for, I just prepare for putting out more blocks. So that's that. Uh, also, this game overstays its welcome. You just have too many tiles and it just feels too long for what it is because you're doing the same stuff all over again putting out more blocks and this confusion of commercial and residential also with your opponents um, blocking you all the way and maybe they get lucky and get the tile the right tile they need and you have to do some, some of those objectives so basically the objective cards and you can get very lucky with them or you can get very unlucky with them and it depends on what tile you draw from the bag as well that's the random factor so I really want to build something on my own as well. I mean, like, yes, we're sharing the city and that's nice. I'm blocking each other. That's part of the interaction, which is kind of a passive aggressive interaction, which is usually nice in family weight games. But in this one, it feels like it's a nuisance. It feels like it's not fair. It feels like I want to build something up and you're just blocking me or doing something or at some point you cannot block me or you're doing your own thing and we're kind of doing things together and not together and we're blocking but not for any real purpose i just wanna feel the building i like building in games and i was very excited about this one just doesn't work for me i i like the overall building up things and like in in a height that that's nice but Overstaying its welcome and just not enough, you know, I did something, I built something. You don't feel that when the game ends. So I give mechanics 3 out of 5. Replayability. So there are a ton of tiles, I told you. That's why it overstays its welcome. But on the other hand, let's say, let's say it's nice, yeah? But eventually, uh, the, the city might be very different each time. That's nice, but eventually it's all the same. You always start the same. There's nothing that makes it different. I mean, like the tiles that you draw and the modifiers. Oh, how cool. The modifiers uh, that are different, blah, blah. And it all depends on your objective cards. It all depends on the randomness. And it just it doesn't really add to your playability because you need to put out this building with the roof on top of it then you can start building the second level of the building then you start the, that new building uh, where and do the second level then you put a roof on that and you do this progression again and again and again and there's that minimal of four four blocks then you put the roof then you can build five blocks and so on and uh, so some of them have restrictions again it just doesn't add restrictions too many restrictions don't add to do playability in my opinion so i give this game although there are some like the different objectives uh, they add to the to the replayability but on the other hand it's a luck factor there quite big one quite big randomness that it takes away from replayability so i give replayability three out of five and the scale uh, although you can play with two three or four players i feel like four players is a little bit too much because um, you want to have your turn faster and maybe less chaos. So as I told you, I wanna I wanna feel like I'm building something, and I, I feel like blocking too much or or too much of that randomness will take away from from my plans and it becomes a nuisance. So with less players, there's less of that. The city builds up longer, but at least you kind of feel more safe, you know. So I like. I, I think I like it with two or three players, but four players is a bit too much for me. So I give the scale four out of five. <coughs> Sorry. So the overall uh, rating is 16 out of, 20, out of 25. I don't, I wouldn't say I like the game because I've played different, I mean like not really city building games. I've played Suburbia, of course. Suburbia is definitive uh, city building game. I don't really like Suburbia for for different purpose, uh, for different um, means, but uh, they are quite personal though. And I like Castle Mad King Ludwig where you build up the castles and so on. I like building stuff in games uh, overall. 
and in this one because I didn't get that feel and I didn't get the feel that I have my own share in there, the bigger share, you know, If and I built something grandiose and I don't feel that in the game and there are some things that's, that give me a lot of the nuisance thing and too much randomness, then I wouldn't really recommend this game too much. Though it's family weight and if if those points that I gave out right now in this review don't bother you, Try it out. You might like it. It might be okay for you to just be that in, be there in the center, kind of in the pit fight of building those buildings and those restrictions. And you don't care about commercial residential. You you have a good memory thing that you can you can see through that and learn that really quick. And all you want to do is not to think too economically in the city building game and just you know look at the modifiers and build here or there might be for you but it's not for me so that's expand city and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and twitter instagram facebook all of those links are in the description below and we'll see you in yet another video beautiful cast or review or something else who knows but thank you see you again bye this channel is sponsored by osprey games check them out at ospreypublishing.com